I'm pretty sure there's a damn mouse in this box. It's not a mouse. It's a big ass spider, punk ass. Why are you making all that noise? How are you even making that much noise? Here. You can, you can have it. You can go ahead and you're gonna stay your ass right back there. Yeah, just goodbye. <laughs> Right here. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a while since we have done an actual proper scooter build here on the channel. Uh, today we're gonna be making my dream scooter part two. Now, uh, I haven't actually made my personal dream scooter in I believe it's been like two years. And the last time we actually did this was at the previous Scooter Zone shop. And I had a great time doing it. I had a great time making that video. We got a lot of really cool shots and I'm excited to do, to do that again. Uh, tonight, I'm gonna go through all the parts that we have here that we are gonna be putting on the scooter. Now you guys may notice there um, are obviously no bars here right now. Bars will be coming out very soon, um, but let's go through the actual bottom end that we have here first. So, uh, we'll start off with the main piece, of course. We've got my AOS V5 signature deck. This particular deck is the 5 one by 22 I don't have any 475s here at the zone right now. Um, and if we do, we might have one uh, or may maybe two. And I didn't necessarily want to take that deck and use it, so we're going to be using one of the larger ones, which we have more stock of. So the big one it is. Now, a lot of things have changed throughout the past couple of years since the last time we actually did this. The last time we did this, uh, Envy didn't have a 30 millimeter wide wheel. Um, so we have since changed over and I'm currently riding 30 mil wheels. I've been going back and forth between these and Lambos and Gap Cores and a few different other wheels. Um, I can't seem to make up my mind, but right now I'm liking these wheels. Uh, these particular wheels that we have right here are the tri-bearing 120 millimeter by 30 millimeter Galaxy on black wheels. Now these things are really, really cool. Uh, 30 millimeter wheels. Uh, they, they do a couple things for your scooter. Uh, they make the ride a little bit grippier for those of you guys that are looking to lean over a little bit more while you're turning. 30 mils might be the way for you. Uh, three bearings in this wheel. So it's one of a kind. There are no other wheels on the market like these. There are three bearings. Yes, that is not, I'm not saying the wrong thing. It's not a typo. Three bearings. Yeah. Try bearing three. As for our fork, we're gonna be running an SCS Declare fork. Now this fork is a super solid fork. I've been running this fork for a while now. I transferred from the SOB V3 fork to this fork, reason being I was able to run 30 millimeter wheels. Last time we actually did this build, well my previous dream build I should say, we were riding IHC compression. I have since switched back over to SCS because Envy is now created a new SCS that I like a lot more than the previous one. And I'm just a little more comfortable riding this new uh, version of the SCS than the previous. Uh, but we have the Declare Fork in, uh, this is the Chrome version. Uh, previously we did Oil Slick. I was really into Oil Slick then, not that I'm not now. I have a lot of Oil Slick parts on my scooter right now. I have the MV Union Oil Slick, full Oil Slick bars on my scooter right now. Loving those things and, uh, but for this particular build, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of pull back from the from the oil stick a little bit, just a little bit on this build because we did that last time, and I feel like it's time for a change. So, chrome forks. Being that I just talked about the SCS, we have got the Omen SCS today for our dream scooter. Now, this SCS is going to be the chrome SCS. Obviously, we have to match the fork. We're gonna have that kind of chrome and blue thing going on, with the exception of the wheels which kind of have like that chromish blue and purple look to the actual urethane. So I'm thinking this is gonna look pretty cool. Um, and this SCS is an incredible SCS. It's super lightweight. You are able to run standard and oversized bars for those of you guys that are wondering. You can also have six millimeter bolts in here. So 
If you're working on your scooter at the skate park, you're gonna avoid stripping any bolts and things like that. That's pretty much every SDS on the market today, pretty much. I know there's some out there that are still messing with five mils, um, but six mils are uh, equipped on the Omen SCS. This clamp comes in black, chrome, and oil slick. So if you guys are looking for that super colorful thing, you can get it in an oil slick version. If you guys just simply like black, obviously that's a good choice too. I think right now I have an oil slick one on my personal scooter, uh, but we're gonna be running the, the chrome one on this one. I think a little bit of flash is cool, um, but we're not taking it too far in this build, just a little bit. Just a little, just a little, little bit, just a little. I didn't wanna go too much chrome though, so uh, I went with a black uh, NV SCS, or NV headset, not SCS Freeman, you idiot. Come on, wake up. I still have to ride my freaking scooter home. I'm not gonna go home until like 5 a.m., but it's okay, because this is worth it. Don't you agree? It's been a good viewing experience thus far. It's been worth it for you. It's worth it for me. But yeah, we have the Black Envy Integrated headset. Uh, I've been running this headset for a very, very long time. My personal scooter, just so you guys know, I always run Envy uh, Integrated headsets, always. I don't personally run a top cap, reason being, um, I've actually bent a lot of top caps within the last few years, and when I actually bend that top cap, sometimes it starts to rub on the top of my head tube on my deck. So I just figured, you know what, I'm just gonna take this thing out altogether. So now I do not run a top cap, but I always run an NV integrated headset. This is probably the best headset I've ever, ever ridden. You guys can test my scooter out if you see me and I will um, attest to that. So if you guys wanna know what I do to my headsets to make them spin super fast, I literally just get this headset and then I put a bunch of tri-flow in there and call it a day. But I also do about a billion tail ups a day. So that, um, that definitely helps. Moving forward, we've got the Vital Grips in black. Vital Grips have not been around for some time. Now it's been hard to get Vital Grips if you have been looking for black or blue. Um, we've been just pretty much, at least here at Scooter Zone, we've only had pink, yellow, green, and clear for the last like couple months. So the fact that we have black ones back in stock right now, I'm actually super stoked about, which means that this, this whole complete isn't gonna be uh, thrown off with yellow grips. Like we're actually gonna have some black grips on there. And uh, I'm very, very happy about that. I love these grips uh, right now. Are you kidding me? Are you serious right now? Really? You, you're just gonna, you're just gonna, you're just gonna turn off like I'm not here, huh? I've been here the whole time. I haven't left, I've been moving. You should know I'm here. As for grip tape, we're running Vital Grip Tape. I didn't want to go too crazy on the grip tape. I kind of wanted to keep it pretty chill. The Bomb logo is uh, definitely one of my favorites. I also like the glitter stuff, and I think on the previous scoot we did glitter, but I kind of want uh, just, just pretty much that like black and uh, just the neutral colorway. So we're going with the Bomb uh, Vital Grip Tape. Like this stuff, and it looks really good on that, that bright blue that comes on my signature deck. And that leads us into our final piece the bars. Ladies and gentlemen, titanium union bars. Probably some of the best bars ever made, ever. There was only, I believe there's 200 of these bars made and I got three of them in total. And just recently, Envy was going through their distribution and they found these. They found two pairs of them and they sent them to me. Thank you. Thank you, Tony and Envy. Thank you. These are my favorite bars in the world. And I'm still so, so sad that they, don't, that they don't make these anymore because if they did, I would never change bars again. These are my favorite bars. In my opinion, the best bars ever made ever. And I am gonna run one set of the two that I have. The other ones I'm gonna just keep as a brand new set because I don't wanna use them because they are going to be relics, but we have one an Envy Titanium Union Bar. This is the last part that I needed to make my dream scooter and I finally got my hands on a couple pairs. So these are gonna be put on here. This is going to be the best scooter that I will have ever had. 30 millimeter wheels, an SCS, titanium bars. 
What more could you ask for? Nothing. You can't ask for anything more. That's it. That's as good as it gets. Let's build it, shall we? Officially done, ladies and gentlemen. This is probably the coolest scooter I've ever made in my entire life, just all things considered the fact that it has tie bars, 30 mil wheels. Like I've never actually had all the necessary parts at one time to make the ultimate scooter for me, but here it is. It turned out so freaking cool. We got the tie bars on there. As you guys saw earlier, we got the uh, black vital grips on there. I don't have bar ends in there. I don't have bar ends yet because the bar ends that I'm gonna be using are aluminum bar ends. And the only pair that I have are the ones that are on my current scooter. So I'm just going to snatch those and put them on this scoot. Um, if I do get some freshies, cool. If not, which is probably going to be the case, bummer. The front end turned out really, really cool. I like the way that uh, everything kind of blends together with the chrome because it's not overkill, but it's not like too little. Uh, I like the chrome a little bit more than I would the black on the scooter. I believe anyway, um, but we do have the black headset and the black grips, so it's got some contrast in there and the black brake, black core on the Galaxy wheels. The Galaxy wheels looks, uh, or probably a little bit blurry right now, but the Galaxy wheels turned out really, really cool in this build and um, I'm super, super excited. I'm hyped on this thing. The only thing I'm a little bummed out about is when I put the grip tape on, whoa! I cut the Vital logo a little bit off center, which is a bummer, but it is what it is. It's, it's still the Vital grip tape, so I'm happy with it. Um, I'll probably end up taking the box stands out, but they look cool enough for now, and I don't have a smaller axle, because again, it's on my scooter. Sorry, not sorry. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite part on this build is. I have a feeling a lot of you guys are gonna say the bars, because they're so freaking rare. But if you guys like the wheels more, or you like the deck, or the fork, or the SES, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget, if you guys want to snatch this exact scooter, with the exception of the bars, you can get all of this stuff at Scooter Zone. If you guys don't live in the Temecula, California area, or anywhere near us, just check us out online. It's www.thescooterzone.com. Also, all the merch, you guys, you, I've been talking about that for a long time, but... Thank you guys so much again for watching. I am hyped on this. I will get a session on this eventually, but right now it's going to be chilling and uh, maybe here in the store, maybe up in the office. I don't know, but I'm not riding it yet. But I will be out in Illinois this weekend, so you guys should get some pretty cool content with my family and whatnot. But uh, thanks again, guys. Until next time, I'm out of here.